Now, we got a question, and I'm going to uh, have this person remain anonymous because I, I feel that Ooh. they would want this. Okay, anonymous question. Um, and this is this is sort of a similar, uh, well, mm, in the kind of in the same boat as the last question, but this is about transferring schools. Okay. So this this particular person feels like the college that they're going to is is not um, is not providing them with the kind of resources they need. And also not, and because of that, they are unable to get placed at a job that they would desire to be placed at. You know, they feel like they're coming in behind other people who have maybe gone to what they consider better schools. Interesting. And they think that their professors, you know, don't necessarily fit the bill. Like they, they don't have a great amount of experience. They don't have maybe good connections. Um, and so they said that they're they're going from their internship year between their second and third year, um, but it basically because of their what they say is a poor choice in the school that they went to and the quality of teaching, they haven't secured their dream placement and have to and have had to have settled for a subpar one. Well, wait a second. You're saying they they didn't secure the dream job internship? Yes, but they had a settle for a subpar internship but they had but they have an internship which is a good step right any internship like guys i worked for the boy scouts <laughs> and let me tell you i sat in a cubicle for eight hours a day and some days i didn't say a word to anyone i never even saw people <laughs> it was like office space it was like jail <laughs> i'm surprised you know what office space is yeah that's one of my favorite movies it's one, of my, one of my two, really two movies i watched yeah oh, mike judge mike judge Be creator of beavis and butthead I don't, I, I don't know. Absolute uh, genius. You lost me. Um, but uh, but but they are saying they're considering changing their school for their final year. Their final year. But they're worried it'll affect their grades. Um, but it, will it be better for their development? Uh, Ooh, that's an interesting question. Because I think th there there's there's two sides of it. I think there's one side that is like. Oh, you know, my school's bad. Like, I can't do that. Like, blah, blah, complaining. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, I think, generally speaking, I think as long as you have access to the internet and, like, eh, some sort of design community to build off of, like, right. you know, you can motivate yourself to do these personal projects and test yourself, you know, if if your school's not pushing you, like, push yourself against your peers on Instagram right. or on, you know, right. the internet. Like, there are resources for that. But then... The other part of the question is, should they switch to a different school, and would they get any benefit from that? Mm -hmm. And I think there's there's maybe a little bit of benefit just because I, I imagine that they've already kind of built up some sort of network there. If they've been there two years, mm -hmm. if they switch for another two or one year to another school, they might make some more new connections. Yeah. Mainly, I'm thinking networking. Right. I don't know. Well... I guess at the end of the day, you know, you're spending money. You're you're spending money on an education. And if you're not satisfied with the education, then maybe it's time to switch. Yeah, I mean, but, it's your money, you know, like, you right. gotta make sure it's worth it. But there's another part of this email that I think is a little bit, I don't want to say delusional. Okay. But, you know, and I'm not saying specifically about this person because I don't really know their work. Right. Um, but that they haven't secured their dream placement. Mm. In that that was the one part. Yeah, that was the one part that was a little weird. For me yeah, too. in their internship going from second to third year, I would say level your expectations. Right. Yeah, you, you can't. I mean, I mean, amazing if you could yeah. get your dream placement, but... Odds are, ninety nine percent of you guys aren't gonna get the dream job, uh -uh. especially as an intern. Yeah, I think I think there's this virus that's going around. What's the virus, James? And the virus is is that people think that they deserve more than they than they've gotten. Right. Or, I, I had that virus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. I I would say that. I think we all do. When I was in extent. school, I had high aspirations, and I think that there's good things. There's good things that come with high aspirations because I think if that if I didn't have them, I probably wouldn't be here now. 
Like, I, w- I probably wouldn't be where I am in my career. Yeah, I mean, when you have high aspirations, it certainly motivates you to, yeah. some, to some extent. But I don't think anybody should look down their nose at any job opportunity. Yeah. Like, if this is the job that you qualified for, Amen. then this is the job that you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, no, I, I 100% agree. I think there's so many times when people, like, see a job posting and they're like, ah, oh, I don't, you know... I don't have a job yet, but I don't think I want this one. So yeah. they just skip it. Guys, apply to everything. The market right. is so competitive. You guys aren't going to get a job if you're just like waiting yeah. for your dream job. And I wouldn't, you know, I, I can't speak for you, but I can't say that like my first gig out of school, I mean, you know, uh, like my first full-time gig was not necessarily like my dream job. Right. But oh, I, I, mean, I was designing litter boxes, James. You think that's my dream? <laughs> I but I got a lot out of it and made some really great connections, met some very talented designers. 100%. You will be shocked to find some really amazing talent in places that you never expected. It's crazy. I've so, you know, I worked at the pet company Petmate. Yeah. And I realized that just cuz I worked there, I've met so many other designers that have connections. They're like, oh, yeah, I worked for that brand like yeah. five years ago. I'm like, no way. I just did the newest dog toy line. Yeah. They're like, yeah, I did that dog toy line back in, you know, 2005. I'm yeah. Like, That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And just, and, and the other thing is like we we often look at these like design firms and, and these places that look really cool, but, you know, you know like it could it could be that you go there and you're like I, well i don't like this either like i you know this this is not what i expected exactly and i i honestly think that going to a place where i wasn't it wasn't necessarily my dream job leveled my expectations to a point where i'm very appreciative of every opportunity that i have mm-hmm. going forward to to make money doing design i mean yeah. that's amazing yeah we get to make money doing what we love yeah. isn't that the goal in life yeah although i would love to talk about that topic sometime of the do what you love meme uh because i think it's uh, a little bit bs okay <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah i just i feel like you know i think that if you're at a school where you feel like it's not necessarily that great and you have the you have the option to move you know maybe it's the right move but, you know, are you surrounded by inspiring designers? Like, are there other kids in your class that are doing really good work? That's a good point, too. If, yeah, if you are, there's always the the old tale of, like, always, if you are the best one in the class or, like, the best one in the school, mm-hmm. that means you're in the wrong place. Yeah. You need to be at the bottom of the total. Right. And, and, well, and the other thing is they say that they're not so impressed with the teaching, but... Could it could it be that they're not really open open to to the lessons that are being taught? That's true too. I, I don't know. I think that I, I it's a tough decision to make, and it's a very personal decision to for make. For sure. Yeah, we can't say for sure, but um, but I but I think that there's there's a level of appreciation and expectations that have to be mixed into this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thank you for sending that in. I mean, that was a very good, very tough question, and. You know, certainly follow up with us and, you know, we'll, we'll support you in your decision. Yeah, um, absolutely. 